But it does look like we have both teams here in the lobby, giving them the all clear, and we can head right into the match. Game number one here for Latin 17 versus Nola Flight Golden Clowns. Derby, Money and Magic on Latin 17, Panda, and Astron RL on the Nola Flight Golden Clouds. Kickoff has begun. Game number one. Let's get to it. Derby, already looking for some physicality, just leaving the ball behind as Panda was sitting and waiting in net. Trying to get that bump out, but Astron able to get there in time. So let's get that 50, kick it on out. Panda still absolutely exhausted on the boost trying to get anything going get a little bit of momentum we'll kick it down in the corner astron drops it down derby high pop panda does have boost now is sitting waiting biting his time trying to figure out if that one's going to go off of the back wall or head down into an additional touch does get the 50 now going for a dribble it's challenge to early that one going off the back wall, it's awkward for Panda. Astron is able to be there. Make sure that no shot comes out. Already Teal putting on a ton of pressure in this early going. Nothing necessarily too terribly threatening towards the net, but still applying a ton of offensive pressure. Speaking of nothing towards the net, my goodness, what a save. Pinching that off of his own post. That was an insane angle off of that sidewall. Save does come through, keeping this at a 0-0. Another high ball off that back one. It's looking like we're already starting to see a little bit of theme that's going to be going on here between these two teams. Latin 7 Seal peppering that back wall, trying to get that ball up high to make it awkward for the Golden Clouds. See if they can't get a read, get a double tap, or an additional shot from that. Just baiting somebody out. So far, the Golden Clash have done an excellent job. And now getting a shot back down the other way. Derby able to rush back with plenty of boost. Does kick that into the corner. Astron getting it back around. Doesn't get the follow-up touch. Derby able to clear it out. Getting it to Money Match. Can throw it off the back wall. Attempting for an additional touch. Or I stand corrected. Just stealing the boost there. I believe he was expecting a touch to come through. Just wanted to make sure that boost was secured. Continue that pressure as the devil comes through Money Magic with a flick over the top of the defender. You're seeing that physicality come through a beautiful flick. Unfortunately for Money Magic, with a little bit of an Athena there. Goes a little high, but Derby able to get the demo. Follow up, no problem. Pick up that first goal of the Grand Finals. Time 17 up, 1-0. Magic back on the offense. <laughs> if Turby would have been able to come off of that back wall from the far side and be able to get that shot in, I just may have lost my mind. For more than likely, would have been the top plays. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been running a top plays of the week all season long as Turby's going to get this shot in. Able to just beat everybody back to it. Challenge comes through, but just a little low and nicely done from Derby. Quickly attacking the ball. Not slow playing, getting it on point and giving Teal a 2-0 lead. But back to the top plays of the week. We haven't been having those go on all season long. Tonight being finals week, we are going to be having a top play of each series. We have three series be sure to submit what you feel is the top play as whoever does that will be getting 500 credits as Panda might not get a top play from this but definitely will take the goal beautiful shot look at the placement as well able to get a touch there on the goal line but not enough as it still finds its way on in the power the placement definitely done by a Panda to get one goal back but it is given immediately right back over after a huge 50 between Turby and Panda, Money Magic's like, hey, look at that. Open net, no problem. Able to walk that one on in. Beautifully done. Getting their two goal lead right back. Panda getting the ball down with that 50. A little bit of team bump between Teal, but Turby, what a 50. My goodness, clearing it all the way down to the far corner. 
Trying to get that off the back wall and out to Money Magic. That is going to be Panda with some control, able to take it to the side wall, looking for an additional touch to get out to Astron. It's going to be 50 stated in the corner. Astron with 100 boost. Playing this one slow, going for that 50 money. Again with the clear down into the corner though. Unable. Our Nola Flight Golden Clouds to be able to get a ton of pressure going. They're getting some great opportunities, but it's a one and done trip up and down the pitch. Meanwhile, this Teal Squad might not be getting super threatening shots or excellent passes to one another. The have an opportunity to go in, but they're just keeping the ball down here. Multiple attempts, multiple go around, and you know, it, with having that three-one lead, just killing so much clock, so much time, and continuing to decrease the opportunity and the chances for the Golden Clouds come back here in game number one. Again, it is a best of seven. So game one is not a miss all end all, but definitely want to start off on the right foot as Astron going for the flick. Not able to get it, goes all the way to the far side, but Panda is there for the follow-up as a, both members of Latin 17. It looked like a misread, but both players over to that sidewall are expecting it either to bounce and come down or roll up onto that sidewall. And Panda, nicely done again with that placement away from the defenders, bringing Golden Clouds back within one. Astron booming this one down. That's going to be a little high. Money Magic just not taking that risk. Definitely going for it. The pass comes through. Panda diving on it with 13 seconds left. Trying to get that boost away from Derby. Unable to do so. It's now Money Magic dribbling it on down. Just killing the clock. Clearing it far side. Panda can't let this one touch. Derby gets the pump on the defender. And that will kill the ball. Over to Latin 7 Teal, game number one. Nicely done again with that offense. You see really the stat line showing the difference there. Nine shots for Latin 7 Teal to just the four for Nola Flight Golden Clouds. And you, the efficiency was there for Nola Flight. Four shots, two of them were saved, two of them went in. Every shot is accounted for. Meanwhile, four Latin seven, nine shots, four of them were saved, three went in. There's two shots unaccounted for, not able to be 100% efficient, but with their high volume of offense and of attacks going towards that net, more than enough to be able to keep ahead of no flight golden clouds. It'll be interesting to see as this series progresses however if they are able to continue to keep that pressure continue to keep the shot total so different and, and such a drastic separation between the two squads and be able to just rely on that you put a good shotgun method just keep throwing the ball at net and continue to see what sticks eventually one of them's going to go in there's going to be a mistake there's going to be a missed touch there's going to be a demo that you're able to pick up just opening it opening that up for either yourself or your teammate to find that back of the net even if it's not spectacular even if it's not flashy you don't need the mechanics you just need all that pressure or if the Golden Clouds are going to be able to find a way to break that pressure, get some offense of their own, maybe it is the physicality. Maybe they're going to start going for the bumps and demos, go for those boost steals, and just alleviate the pressure, not get stuck on their end quite as long. And if those shots are even based on the efficiency, that definitely would favor the Golden Clouds. But game number two, still nil-nil here in the early going. And some action up and down the pitch. We've seen a couple of bump attempts, but nothing sticking just as yet. Derby taking this one down and getting obliterated. Panda, nice angle. Money magic there for the save. Great reaction time. It's a panda somehow finding that one right to left, dropping it down center net. We'll get this one. That one's going to go high. Panda and Astra both going up for it, but both missing. But Money Magic doesn't have a boost. Has to pick up some pennies. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, I will die on the hill. The open net is the most difficult shot in Rocket League. As we see there, Money Magic chasing it down, having to pick up a couple of pennies after his first touch was just a little bit off. 
but unfortunately there for the Golden Cubs, you gotta wonder if that was a communication or just both players believing that they could have had that shot. Both went high, neither having the read spot on and had a great opportunity for that goal. Unfortunately for them, with that double commit, did go back down the other way. It puts them in a 1-0 deficit. But one goal, we have seen that how they've been able to score and get some great opportunities for themselves. Definitely no problem for them to overcome. There's still over half of this game to play. Derby, that's just a little thin on that shot. Bunny match, it goes high. Both shots just ever so slightly off there for Latin Seven Teals. Now that's the efficiency that I was talking about during the intermission. Having a couple of great shots, but just slightly off can be slightly frustrating. Just being on the attacking side, even though you're getting those opportunities, you feel like those should have been, if not shots on net, goals. And you walk away empty handed, but still able to keep the pressure going, still able to really keep the ball moving towards the Nola flight half of this pitch. The demo comes through onto Derby. Money Magic quick turn and keep the ball down. Buy some time for his game to get some boost. Panda getting the drill. The ground came going with the dribble and the flick over the top of one. Money Magic now quickly down the other way. Derby sitting and waiting for the pass to come out and said it's just going to be a high pop. Gets the double tap set up. Just a little high on the read. I like the attempt coming out from Latin 7 Teal and your plays like that. Even if you don't get those touches, just showing that you're willing to go for them, showing that you're right there, makes the opposition respect the fact that you have that in your bag of tricks. That is within your arsenal to be able to take that shot, and you have to respect it if you're playing on defense. Money Magic. Clean catch and flick, and Asteron can't get back in time. The velocity on this flick from Money Magic as he gets blasted by Panda, still getting it by everybody. And Latin 7 Teal from out of nowhere on the transition gets goal number two. around quickly going for another flick just gets cut off and it's being a nuisance in his camera trying to get that bump it's going to go over to Astron. does get it down money magic not the touch he was looking for paying a quick attack diving on that ball latin seven teals defense dance all once again as derby trying to get the flick trying to get that ball on top of his car and then get a bump golden clouds doing a great job of avoiding that so far we saw in game one the demo play come through, but now Panda once again lines this left to right and cutting the ball back to the right as Derby got caught in his own net, unable to kid out, and Panda beautifully done once again, showing that that shot is well-practiced, well-oiled machine. Fast run is able to get it high and away from the defenders. Panda going to be there for the shot, getting the first goal and bringing it back within one. And yes, Cookie just subbed himself. He's, he's a self-sub. <laughs> and uh, able to get the catch and flick over the top of the first one. Derby gets it up, goes for the double for the whole And just a little off. Ooh, Derby trying to put an exclamation point on the end of that game just a little off but you know i'm sure that he's going to take it still getting the 2-1 victory and going up 2-0 on the series latin 7 teal again more than doubling up their opposition seven shots only three for nola flight golden clouds all three of them were a panda but again both of them saved or the one that went in for latin 7 teal seven shots two saved Two goals, three shots unaccounted for. The efficiency isn't quite there for Latin 7 Teal, but they've found the recipe for success. They're going to continue to pressure the ball. They're going to get in Golden Cloud's face. They're not going to let him get those high pops, get those flicks down the pitch, keep on the pedal, 
and continue to attack. As long as that ball is going somewhere towards the net of the Golden Clouds, they don't care. They are completely fine with that. It is okay for Latin Seven Teal if their shots are ever so slightly off. You're still applying the pressure and forcing them to get back on the defensive side and not allowing their offense to roll. And when one mistake happens, they are there to capitalize. It's money magic. What a bicycle flick there to just absolutely sky that ball, make it incredibly awkward. Nobody from Cold Clouds is able to get there. And it takes just 11 seconds for Latin 7 Teal to get a 1-0 lead. After I try to get it right back, Money Magic getting back in time. Able to pick up that save. Got some fast-paced action here on the get-go. And Tank, you couldn't hear me even if Cookies wasn't producing. So let's start there. You always have me muted. It's on you, not me. Open your ears. Money Magic. Able to get it the other way, but throw it far into the back. Well, that's a dangerous touch by Jeremy. Panda throws it right back into Turby. It goes to Astron. Uh, a little bit of pinball wizard action going on. A Turby to the ceiling. Panda back to Turby. Back to Astron. My goodness. <laughs> uh, but nicely done there from Golden Cloud to be able to get that one back again. Just right place, right time. P putting on the pressure, allowing both players to be pushed up. You don't have one player going to the mid boost, going all the way back, trying to get boost because they had spent a ton of time on defense. They were able to get the ball moving, get it onto the attack. With that transition, both players instantly pressuring, and a good thing is able to come from it. On the flip side, though, that's seven teal. Again, it just that's a uh, that very, very difficult read for Panda not allowing himself to get a touch on that as it was incredibly awkward on where the ball was going to bounce and nicely done by Money Magic being there for the read, knowing it's going to bounce right back out to him. Being able to get goal number two. Really? Iowa? Listen, I got to give props to the Iowa women's basketball team. Got an Iowa fan in here. Huge, huge season for them and Caitlin. Unfortunate for them, but you know, I'm sure for Nola Flight, they're not going to be too upset that LSU won. <laughs> Money Magic able to get this one high on the back wall, so sizing it up. Does it go for the double? Doesn't need it. And as he has sized it up perfectly, Money Magic once again being able to get the read off the back wall. And get the angle just inside that near post. And this is something that, you know, we talked about the efficiency can be incredibly dangerous with the shot volume that Latin 7 Teal has been able to produce in the first two games. Here, five shots, make it six, and all six are accounted for. Latin 7 Teal. Putting on an offensive clinic, six shots, four goals. The other two were saved as the ankles, or sorry, the axles, wrong A word, were absolutely shattered there on that dribble. Being able to get that one on in a kickoff. Almost on point, the geometry was nearly there. Will be cleared out, Derby, Money Magic. Trying to combine for a little bit of a pinch. It's going to go hard off that sidewall. Derby and Astro on there for a 50. And for the Golden Clouds, they're going to need to find something relatively quick here. Listen, we're all... Well, at least those of us that are here on the production side, we're all... It's all good. Derby. Astron lining up the double for itself. Doesn't have the boost. Called it out for Panda. And Panda is there for the cleanup. Astron, you can, you can see the wheels are spinning. His nose was there, had the double lined up, but you gotta believe that call was made to Panda, who was instantly diving on it, not making any adjustment. A ball was going to be hit anywhere else except directly back from the back wall. Able to get that goal, no money, but check. Not able to line that one up. Astron rushing down, but Turby does get back in time. 
Will get the pass out to Pin. Oh my goodness, that ball was absolutely pinched to the other end of the earth. Derby will be the first one there. Beneficiary of this one hitting the ceiling at 200 mile an hour, losing all of its north and south momentum. Getting an open net goal, and every time this has been a theme between these two teams, every time Nola Flight Golden Clouds start to get a little momentum, start to get some pressure, bring it back within a goal or two, Latin 7 Teal has the answer. They're able to consistently put that pressure on, get that goal back, and, and say, no, no, no. This is our game. This is our match. They are putting it on here tonight as the bump comes through. Astron still able to be there. Derby trying to get the pressure on for the time being. Oh, the demo coming through, getting the... Additional touch as well as Panda's going to throw this to the back wall. Derby ended up bonking his face into his own net. Couldn't be there for the save, but the re was just a little bit off on that back wall. And then Derby going to 50 that one hard. Going to go east to west. Astron getting the first touch, trying to follow it up on that side. Well, it will bounce a little bit further away than what he was hoping for. Back and forth we go. Now final 60 seconds here in game number three. Astrod has Panda far side. Just going to go ahead and try to sneak this one by Money Magic. Just a little bit wide. Gets the pass out. Derby going to be the first one to it. Has on top of the star going for that bicycle once again. And then the bump of Panda. Is that a squishy save? He just squishy save. Able to get out a beautiful save there to keep this still a three goal game, but you know, in a 2v2 match, in tier five, I have seen stranger things happen. Astron gonna pick this one up on that sidewall, pick up the hunter boost on the way. The magic throw in this one, high panda wrapping around for the shot. Turby coming down from on high to be there for the 50, make it a second 50 there into the sidewall as Latin seven deal, just killing the clock. And that will be a game at number three. Derby again trying to get that last goal for the road. It is continuing to elude Latin 7 Teal with that zero second. But they again, now we, they've doubled the shot totals in game one and in game two on Nullified Golden Cows. Gold, oh my goodness, words are difficult. The Golden Cows, the Golden Clouds. Sorry, boys. The Golden Clouds. In game number three there, they tripled the shot total. 15 shots to five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, the good, you know, words in English are hard for me, all right? I don't know why they keep putting me in the booth. It's a thing. We're just going to roll with it. All right, we got a bunch of cows out here. As long as we get some milk and some hamburger, all as well. Uh, <laughs> But Nola Flight, you know, again, their, their defense stepped up. They were able to get seven saves, but it's all about that shot volume. It is all about Latin 7 Teal continuing to pepper that net and, and really put on the pressure of Nola Flight. And you know, it's now a 3-0. It is one game away from Latin 7 Teal taking this championship. It is do or die for the Golden Clouds. If they had any ace up the sleeve, now is the time to pull it out. The rope all caution to the wind and just do anything that you may think is absolutely crazy might not work it is time to go for it and we'll see if they're able to do anything here in game number four be it a a demo play bump plays just throwing the ball doing some dump and chase action this money magic is going to get it rolling again just 11 seconds in game number one able to catch that one on the far side and get the additional tap on in well done to give the one zero lead over to latin seven teal as panda trying to get some crowd came going the ball is just refusing to cooperate with his octane as he continues to bounce over the top of him astron missing the ball but getting the bump on derby panda able to pick it up does get that corner boost as well it gets it on top of both of them and will rush down in time panda 
I was a little bit afeared for him here in the brief moment. That spot in that open net. And again, the most difficult shot in Rocket League, bar none. Hey, Nola flies back. It's a good thing they didn't hear me call the team the Golden Cows. I, I mean, that didn't happen. Totally did not happen earlier. I, the, the people the people are not telling the truth. Money Magic trying to get a little bit of magic of his own again with that flick. This worked out twice so far for him. Unable to connect with that one. Derby throwing the ball to the corner. Going to pick up some boost and they come out of nowhere. Instantly attack. Will be turned away. Now Astron dropping this one down to Panda. Will be 50 to cross. Derby going to get 50 by Panda yet again. Money Magic. Stealing that corner. Attempting to just... Be a nuisance and quickly cut, quickly turns where Teal has been able to apply all their pressure, just getting those corner boosts, quickly wrapping back around, not allowing the Golden Clouds to be able. <laughs> so many timeouts happening. I don't even know what's going on with chat right now. Panda. Dropping that one down. Astron. Going to be demoed as Derby. Trying to do a little one-man show. So far, that, that timeout has not worked out quite yet for the Golden Clouds. Here might be an opportunity as Astron gets on top of that ball. Gets it by both players, but just a little bit wide. It's Astron. Going to catch this one in front of his net. Nice dribble to get it by the first. Trying to keep it low around the second. Around Derby. Panda. With the touch, going to go high off of that back wall as we are hitting halftime here in game number four. Derby gets it by the first, unable to get it by the second. Panda just booming it down. Now in a 2v1 scenario, trying to get any sort of touch to keep it awkward for Money Magic. Instead, will just steal the boost. Gets a touch on both the ball and a player, but not the ones that he was looking for. He was hoping for the demo, and then leave the ball there for Astron. Unable to do so now. Demo happening behind Astron. Cool guys, don't like the explosion. It's continuing to try to get the attack going for Golden Clouds. Panda going to be taken off of the pitch with Money Magic unable to keep the pressure going back the other way. It's a little bit of a mistouch. Will throw it down into his own corner. A stall 50 picking up the boost. Panda. The 50s are starting to go more in Golden Clouds' favorite here this game. Just need to make sure they stay on top of it. And as soon as I say that, what a 50 from Derby. I think that one was going to corner out. But the scary place for Pandas. Astron stretches out for that save. Beautiful done. Beautifully done for the... What could have been the go-ahead goal for Latin 7 Teal. Nobody magic going to throw this hard off of the back wall. Derby. Well done. Keep that ball down here. Going for the flip reset. Derby. Oh my goodness. Funny Magic says, get on the mechanics. Just go ahead. Full boost at a player's face. Demo him. Get him off the pitch. Go for a shot. Instead, it gets cleared all the way down. Astron throwing this off that back wall. Derby unable to catch up to it. And the bump comes through from Money Magic onto Astron, who stays on top of the ball, still trying to get it east and west. <laughs> Thanks, Tank. Uh-huh. Derby. Throwing this one high. Money Magic up for the shot. Will get it on point. Money Magic. Going to get the go-ahead goal as Derby. What a sky ball. The ceiling does not exist. It looks like both Golden Cloud players were expecting that one to hit the ceiling drop down they'd be able to challenge it instead it is a money magic making the magic happen yet again for this latin 7 teal squad go up 2-1 to still 30 seconds left golden cloud still with signs of life with that demo that opens it up for panda oh no Oh, that's, I've been saying it all series, the most difficult shot in Rocket League. You hate to see it, but still got a chance here. Final 10 seconds. Panda going on trying to throw this off the back wall. Gets a pop to Astron. Oh, Derby doing just enough to keep the ball out. Money Magic and Derby are going to kill it at that.
ladies and gentlemen, is Latin 7 Teal taking the W, taking the sweep 4-0, and taking the championship for LOS Champ Season 0, 2v2 East, Tier 5A. Congratulations to the Latin 7 Teal Squad and the Latin 7 organization for coming down with the championship here tonight with Money, Magic, and L7 Derby being able to get that clean sweep against Nola Flight. But GG's between both of these squads and absolutely GG's at props to this Nola Flight Golden Cloud Squad. Again, the seven seed coming on through, taking down the number two and three seeds, but running into the juggernaut here tonight, which was the Latin seven squad, Latin seven teal squad. As it does appear that we have Derby joining us, L7 Derby. Congratulations on the victory of first thoughts coming home with the season zero championship here in 2v2 East 5A. How does it feel? Crazy. <laughs> crazy crazy coming with the sweep now you guys faced off against this golden clouds squad in week five where you're able to take them down three one were you able to take anything that you learned from that victory and apply it here in this match tonight um well we looked at our old um past mean game and we just like trying to like notice what they were doing and stuff they have been improving a lot they improved a lot and they were a hard competition. Uh, now, you guys seem to, to take the tactic of, uh, you know, kind of the shotgun method. Just keep throwing the ball at net, and eventually the ball, it's going to go in, and, and you're able to more than double the shots against this Golden Cloud squad. Was that the really what your focus was in the series, was just continue to keep that pressure on, or is that just how the game was playing out for you? Um, well... We just try to like try to set a backboard and another one just say try to shoot it in try to get it in or like sometimes we'll just solo solo play it up dribble it up and try to just get in the net now we're, we're gonna have to talk about some some zero second plays here as it looked like you guys continuously tried to get that zero second goal for the road but it continued to elude you i know that in a series like this the pressures on both you know those zero second goals was that just keeping you guys loose was that you know playing around trying to get that that highlight clip trying to get that shot or is that something that you, you're trying to get in the back of the minds of your opposition hey we have this in our arsenal so you better you better respect it one for the boys just gotta put the extra one in one for the boys even though it's tuesday and not saturday we got you well, hey, congratulations on the victory here tonight on the championship. Before you go, though, I appreciate your time, but the floor is yours. Any shout-outs you want to give? Uh, Latin7.org. Um, they've been excellent to me and Money. Uh, everybody that supported L7. Money is a great teammate. And Ron. <laughs> there you go. Well, hey. Again, thank you for your time, Derby. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the victory. We hope to see you all back to defend that title in Season 1. Thank you. Thank you for casting. Absolutely. My pleasure. GG's, uh, no flight. GG's indeed. Again, that was Derby from the victorious Latin 7 Teal squad as they were able to take the clean sweep in the championship here tonight against Nola Flight Gold and Clouds, who... You know, they're, they're going to take the number two spot here in Season Zero. And definitely something that they have no doubt cannot hang their heads on. A fantastic season here for the Season Zero here in LOS Champs. We do still have two more matches here tonight. Uh, those are going to be 2v2 matches as well. The next one is going to be a 2v2 East Tier 2 match of the number one seed Aura versus number two seed Older Orses. And then following that at 10 o'clock is a 2v2 East Tier 3 match of Yeah No Problem versus Goat in the Water, the number four versus number seven seed. Again, for those of you who are just joining us here, season one registration is now open and will be open for a, just under two more weeks, two weeks from yesterday. 
that it will close on April 17th. We are going to head to a break, but that gives you plenty of time to get your team together. Head on over to the website, get registered if you haven't done so. If you're having any issues with registration or cannot see your team, please DM Mod Mail within the Discord, and the mods will help you ASAP. We're going to head to a quick intermission, and when we come back again at 9 o'clock Eastern, top of the hour, it will be the number one seed Aura versus the number two seed Older Horses. <laughs> 